Hi guys and welcome back to the Maro Brothers. Thank you for tuning in for another special edition and yes, today we're going to be touring this beauty that belongs to Dolph Lundgren, the famous Hollywood actor. But before I say too much, it's time for the detail drone shot. Let's go. Before we start flip-flops off guys we are in summer it's beautiful and we're so excited to show you this majestic home but before we start guys if you did like the detail shots and the drone shots hit us up with a like because that really helps us and the algo rhythm now if you look at the facade of the house it's so charming and so welcoming already you have your french little balconies it's painted all white although the house is called villa amarillo which means house Yellow, yellow house, it is white. But anywho, welcome in to the foyer, the entrance. And before we start, I for detail is throughout in this house, like this glass door that welcomes you to the heart. I would say, let's get started, come on. Inside of the house, guys, I'm so excited. Wow, I don't even know where to begin. How about Patrick, the patio? I think it's Let's a good go. place. Let's go. As you know, in Andalusian homes, you have patios because they cool down the living area. Here we have Roman pillars imported from Italy to add to the charisma and to give a bit of a mix between Andalusian Spanish, French, and even Italian style. Like this little fish, Oop. with little fish floating and swimming around. Really cool, guys. Let's follow. I was told a little secret. I'm gonna be spoiling it for you guys. Right up front, follow. This little snug garden area is where Dolph Lundgren would come, kick back, like this, and read the scripts of the movies he was going to play in, but also retreat from working in Hollywood. And it's so botanic. Woo! I even got so mesmerized by the beauty that I nearly tripped. Now, before you zoom out, Patrick, little iron gate to close this section down. All the little elements have been imported, especially for this home, to really create a unique experience for the person living here. Like, for instance, the chairs and the bench here. Bench made full on, where you come, a snug little area to enjoy your breakfast. Now, let's go to the formal living room. Voila, formal living room, ladies and gentlemen. Let me first take a little breath, sit back, and talk about this amazing fireplace of which we have a lot in this home. This one, for instance, plastered very beautifully fur dinkum solid mantle and of course it gives you heat now we're going to be exploring a room going back in history to the 18th century and i'll explain why so let's hop in ba -ba. this is the office slash library that used to or still belongs to dolph lundgren now do you think i should sit on it let's go let's do come on actually you're the director patrick and the filmmaker you should be sitting here Cut! I th I'm gonna ask to take this. Let's see if I'm allowed one day. Anywho, an amazing library and all the carpentry and the wood date back to 18th century and they have been imported from France. So a piece of history here in this room. And now, that's the coolest. So drum roll. First artifact of the house. Master of the universe sword. The original. Now this is a serious pocket knife for Dolph Lundgren. For me, it's a massive sword. And Patrick, maybe you should put it in your hands. 
just see how big the blade is, huh? Yes, it is, indeed. And it's actually not that heavy. Well, picture. But psh, before, subscribe. Or oh, you'll take me in too. <laughs> yeah. Imagine that's, carrying that's this. Better you better put this down. If you carry I want to. I want to walk around with it. No, don't. It gives me a feeling of empowerment. So, ladies and gentlemen, my glasses keep falling. This is your former living room area, artifact number one. You would be sitting here working and you've got the entire here, living room and library in a view. And now, welcome to the formal, actually this would be your informal living room or a TV room. Really ample in size, got a nice little engravings into the wall, add to the classicness of the house, but of course a disruption when it comes to these funky coloring sofas and displays. So it's very chic here and I like that. The big lamp and Patrick. I wanted to tell you something, but I'll do that later. Let's go inside here. This is your formal dining area and all its beauty. What I like about it personally, you have wooden beams. It is also laid out with wood, given a really warm feeling, as well as the view that you have to the ocean. It's a great place to be. And not to forget, you do have a fireplace here as well. One of so many in this house. And this is what Patrick wanted to point out before. Now I'm coming to it. He said, what did you say, Patrick? It's like a dungeon. No, what do you do with your guests? Come on. You forget about him. Them. Patrick, please. You, you made close really... them in. Yes, th I like that. You said you can lock them in in case they misbehave so they cannot come out. Come on, man, where's your game today? Huh? Patrick? Hello? Tommy, you're the entertainer. I'm the filmmaker. All right, ladies and gentlemen, being the filmmaker, it's my pleasure to introduce you to the dirty kitchen slash pantry just adjacent to the main kitchen. And this really brings you to like a chateau style feeling with cupboards even that high. But you have to remember Dofflongren is around 196, so for him, opening that would have been no problem. And now, this massive kitchen in all its glory. Just for you to understand how much space we have, let me go here so that you really grasp the sheer size of it. And it's been completely renovated, customized to fit this house. And last but not least, before we move away from the kitchen, of course you have, this is so nice, these windows, doors that you close. But if you come closer, right outside is the patio we have seen just seconds before with the dining area at your footsteps. Nice, and if you don't want to eat there, you've got so many possibilities in this house, you can do it here, in your winter garden. Again, wooden beams, you have a fireplace here, nice round table, and a lot of natural light coming in. And you have to imagine in winter, this is the place where it heats up the most, so it'll be nice and cozy and warm. And you've also got these Roman pillars embedded into the wall here. Cool, let's continue, Patrick. Scooch back, make me some space. Kitchen, what do you think about the kitchen? It's big, indeed. Yeah. Big countertops, a lot of space, and wherever you go, you have a lot of natural lights, a lot of windows, bright colors, light colors, perfect. You nailed it, that's exactly yeah. what it is. This door leads outwards, we'll come to that later. And here, we wait, 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 this door? This door leads to the garage, but I'll be showing that at a later stage because I will show you bedroom number one. No. Oh, I like yes. that poster. I have to say. Who, who, as, who's that? That's who's that? Mr. Lundgren. And who's that? Mr. Lundgren. Oh, wow. And who, who's that? Pretty look man how there. well built he was. Gee. Oh, man, look at this. There? Insane. Okay. Boom. Yeah. I have to say, when I was a kid, and Patrick's probably the same. I would look at his physique and I would be like, oh, would I look so strong when I'm older? But I kind of failed because I didn't know okay. Patrick did. Let's fly in. Ready? Let's go. go. Right, ample first bedroom, a lot of covered space. And you see it's nicely illuminated and continuous in style. And let's hop out 
first glance of the amazing greenery that we have here in this property. 5,100 square meters of plot land with trees that have specially been imported to be flowering and growing here. Now, let's turn around because we're gonna be showing you a guest apartment with two bedrooms, but before we do it, here we have a vegetable garden. I see that they're growing their own tomatoes, zucchinis, and that's, you know, self-sustainability is amazing. And you can totally do that here in Spain because the sun shines all the time, right? You get it. And now up the stairs we go. Oh, hi there. Welcome to the guest apartment in all its glory. Let's start off with a covered terrace and a nice dining area in the shade with greenery all around. And of course, if you hop into the cute little kitchen, fully functional with everything you need right here, we would go from here into the living room. Let's go. Ta-da. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the living room. We have two bedrooms here, one there, one there. And I would say we start with bedroom number one. Patrick, do you want to fly in and show them? Okay. Let's go. I'm from there, my favorite bathroom. Let's look at it together and I'll explain you why it's my favorite. So, bathroom with epic tiling in the entire wall. Right, now it's this one. So what we have here, the same tiling that's plastered on the wall is now also plastered at the floor. And it's this turquoise lemony looking tiles which are really charismatic alongside the original tiling that this entire place was laid out with. Just so typical Spanish. Cool, big fan of it. One thing, vanity and of course bedroom number two. Show them my dear. And from here, join us outside. Let's put attention real quick, actually, factually, on all the doors in the house, they have been bought at, you know, auctions. There are special doors and they're unique. Every house entrance room has a different door. Let's go. Okay guys, let us know what you think in the comment section. Would you like to stay here as a guest? Not just because Dolph Lundgren used to live here, it's now for sale, as you know, all the details are in the description box. But if you just wanted to take a holiday there. Now, let's put focus back on the important thing. We have a carport for at least four cars here. And just real quick, should we show them? As I said at the beginning, it's called Casa Amarilla, which means yellow house. And it's been painted white recently, but this has been kept yellow just to give the history some facts about this house. And now, two garage spaces with a little poster gallery. Now, I'm sure all of you know Dolph Lundgren from the Expandables. It was an amazing, actually, it was a three of them, wasn't there? I think there was three, no? Patrick? Patrick's like, Yes. How many? Three? I think three. Okay. Yeah, of course, three. Come well, on, one, two, four. three. Maybe four. But anyways, yeah, the Expandables, but he also played in Universal Soldier and here in Masters of the Universe from where I got the sword, which, to be honest, looks like a toothpick in the almighty arms of Dolph Lundgren. Cool, huh? Here? Don't forget the... As a reference point, I would like to point this one out real quickly. That's where we came from, and we went into the first bedroom. Staff compartment right behind you. Correct. It's currently with being laundry used. room. It's currently being used, so we can't really show it. But thank you for pointing out, Patrick. Yes, that's no problem. Let's continue. This is so scenic, right? You could even make your own film in this home because it has so much character. We're back at the hammock where I said Dolph Lundgren would read the scripts, and from here, join us because we still have so much more to discover together. So. Let's go. All right. I love the iron gates in this house. Now, as I said, the house is on the market for very good price, to be frank, especially because the plot size is so humongous. We have just under 900 square meters of total built area in this house. 
and you've seen all the bedrooms. Should we start with the bedroom or with the guest toilet? Bedroom. Well then fly in. Beautifully decorated. And wait, stay there, because I just wanted to point out the ceiling height is insane in this house. It's easily, I can't even reach it. It's easily three meters, huh? What do you think, Patrick? Is you really tall? Did you touch yeah, it? Three, three, three and a half. Perfect. Maybe. En suite, bathroom, let's have a look. Recently been renovated, as you can see, you have here plastered onto the wall, nice stucco. Rainforest, shower. Window. Yep, window outwards. Very important. And of course, a bathtub. And I love bathtubs at home because I think it's essential to bath at least once a month to detoxify yourself. Shara wants a decade, you <laughs> beach bum. Let's continue. Fireplace with a great here. What was it, number four now? This is number four, correct. And I just want to point out, you have these tiles, right? Everywhere detailedly hidden around the house that add to the Spanish culturistic drama of the house. Wow, it's a lot of fancy words there. Now you also have French windows that open up. This also fully opens up so you can access the front of the house, but also keep it open for a nice cool breeze. And now, guest toilet, let's go. This is a really... Wow, I really like the poster. Yeah. It's Clint Eastwood. Per un pigno di dollari. Who's Italian who's watching? Please translate it for us. And fun fact. Some people say I look like Clint Eastwood when he was younger. What do you guys think? Comment below. Let's continue. Guest toilet. And for me, this guest toilet, I don't know about you guys, it makes me feel like I'm going back into the 18th century. It has this charm about it. I think the tiling and the dark blue color adds to it. But if you just look at the tiling here and the sink, which has hand painted uh, pictures on it and these really cool fish tabs. Nice, huh? And of course, wallpaper all around. And wait, doorknob. Just look at this tiny little flower doorknob. So instead of having just ordinary doorknobs, they went for this one just to have a continuation of style in this house. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for two for the bedrooms upstairs. If you want to see where Dolph Lundgren used to sleep, it sounds creepy when he came to live here, then stay tuned and let's go. And here, this is what I mean again. The tiles discreetly put everywhere around the house. Let's go. Yeah, guys, I'm really excited. But stay tuned before we show you Dolph Lundgren's former bedroom. Let's show you bedroom number five. Will this be bedroom number five? Well, the first bedroom on the first floor. So fly in. Great, huh? Now, quick look into the bathroom. Elegant, neat, got one sink vanity. Again, stucco design, plaster on the wall as well as the vanity, natural light coming in. From the patio, you hear the water go bloop, 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 which is really nice. Now zooming out, we also have a terrace on this bedroom with a little table to come and enjoy your morning evening. Coffee. Or morning coffee or evening cocktail, I would say. A glass of wine. Yeah, a glass of wine. I always say like... wine, but to be honest, I'm also a cocktail type of guy. Now, from here, does the camera, Patrick, show how Lush green... greenness. Wow. Which helps to cool down the plot. You bet. You so, memorized this that. This is unique. I think Patrick's property. reading a script. He's cheating. <laughs> All right, guys, but he's totally true. Because modern properties do not have that sort of lushness and greenness, which helps you to cool down your property. I should take the camera and I think from here on you should Okay, take let's the tour. go to the master bedroom. <laughs> Do you want to fly in? Okay, let's Come go. Come on. 
Now, being the main bedroom, you expect big spaces, which you certainly have in this entire room. Now, one thing I'd like to point out once again, some people are gonna dub this movie or this property tour as the tile tour, because I like to point out these tiles, but here again, and braidings, and of course this mustard coloring, another fireplace. Mustard or yellow? I would say this is more mustard, which is corresponds it? to obviously the continuation of interior design, got mustard looking pillows as well. And now, check this out. This is your bathroom with a third Dinkin swimming pool bathtub. How would you call it, Patrick? Because this is massive. For you, it's massive. For me, it's standard. Uh, if you got in here, I think three people like you could fit in here. You think? Uh-oh. Thank uh -oh. you, DJI, for the possibility of... So whilst Patrick is trying to figure out how he can get in here, just look out as well. You have the French windows that fully open and you get to see the greenery when you shower with your partner or take a bath with your brother. It's kind of weird, but... Oh, this is a decent size. What? I can even... Oh. Come on, I think two more people could fit in here. And then view. You see La Concha from here, palm trees, greenery, avocado trees, tiling, roofing, chimneys, clouds, sky, you name it. Can you help me? I help you. Oh, okay, wait. Okay. Oh. So guys, point proven, this is a really big bathtub. Next to the bathtub here, just quickly show it, bidet and toilet. And on the right side, you have the big shower. This is again a place where at least three, four people can fit in. But do you window. take showers with three, four people probably? I do, it's what I do on the weekends. Sharing common space? Yeah. Two sink vanity, big windows on each side. Here, let's just look at the bar here in an artistic twirling. And also the little stones there. Yeah, the little tiles, so yeah, many tiles in beautiful. this house. Great how they add more to the flair. And of course, this would be a walk-in closet for him or her, because there are two, we'll be showing the second one later. And yeah, you see cupboard spaces all along. Here a little niche to put more things on. And of course, they think they control him. Think again. Here, Red, red Scorpion. Scorpion. Now, fun fact guys, when I was a kid, Patrick and I used to watch this together, or many of Dolph Lundgren's or other movies that he made. Oh, Jackie Chan, I was gonna say as well. Jackie Chan, Dolph Lundgren, and Jean-Claude Van Damme. They used to all do this crazy- Hello, Stallone. Arnold yeah, but no, no. Stallone never did the karate kind of stuff. But he, and Dolph he, Lundgren he did. Was Dolph quite Lundgren a fighter, did. Though. Dolph Still. Lundgren did. I'm going to repeat it again. He did. And as a kid, I used to copy that. You now know, he, got he like, did bah, karate bah. before. Yeah, of course. Oh, That's thanks. why it was so genuine, his movement. The door's going to close. <laughs> so, what I'm trying to say, God damn it, is that I used to play fighting games with my brother after watching these movies. It would end bloody. Now, Embrace this. This is the main bedroom's covered terrace area in all its glory. And to say private covered. Private, covers. fully private. And just the lushness once again is just abnormal on this plot. Even here, everything that's growing on the walls, on the wooden panels. It's like nature took over the house in a very controlled and beautiful way. Now, let's enjoy some of the sun. Is that oh, this is good that you have the covered to part. Because I have to say, the sun is quite ripping now. Oh, it's beautiful. And, and again, mm. green lushness all over the place. Yes. And the privacy as well. Nobody's looking into your property. You have 5,000 square meters. It goes all around there. You have a second landing right at the bottom where the swimming pool is. We'll get to that, so stay tuned because that's also an amazing position to show you the front of the house. And it wraps all around there, so you are really not enclosed anywhere on your private plot. And now, let's take you there. Let's do 
how did it close? Cut. Cut. <laughs> Cut. Second try. Let's go. All right, before we head out of the main bedroom, let's quickly point out that you also have this section here, which is another walk-in closet with a niche there to store your things. Ooh, Patrick. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is what I was talking about. Showdown in Little Tokyo. Dolph Lundgren, Brandon Lee, they used to do some amazing fighting scenes in that movie. And as a kid, I just wanted to become a fighter myself. Little fun fact about me. Yeah. My brother's a fighter. Look what turned, yeah. Look what turned out. I'm now showing you guys luxurious, famous properties. And now to the garden, which is epic. All right, there are two things that I love about this house. The three things, the house itself, the sword and these uh, golden dog humping the other one. Pick it up, show it to the camera. Very, oh wow. It's art. Art it's in its finest way. Art in its finest way. Very well said. Wow, this is just. With, with this sword you can go for the lush garden. <laughs> Cut yourself through. Through the jungle. Through the jungle. All right, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. And I would say here, a few notes I would like to point out. Number one, I'm gonna put on my hat. This covered chill out area, which is not only cool, shady, but also super spacious. You can fit at least 15 people here. Come and celebrate and I don't know, hide your sushi under this amazing, yeah, tablet. Cool, continuing. This is also antique pillar to hold the pergola in place. You have a lot of these little finer details throughout the house, which I'm a big fan of. And here, very quickly, the windows also close with the shutters here, which are equally painted in this olive green to match the color of the surrounding. So it sort of blends in. Personally, I love it how nature took over the house and it's become one with it. Big fan of that. And another fun fact, this is a tree. Here, take it, show it to the camera. Do you remember what I called this, Patrick? Fake chocolate tree? Yeah, <laughs> there's a name for it, but they make fake, fake chocolate tree. They make chocolate out of these. Well, this organic vegan chocolate, which tastes horrible. What is it, it called, the tree then? Bar, Bargot? Ka, ka. Wow, we are really good with names. Yeah. Okay, sorry guys, it will be right there. So you might see just there, it will, there. But yes. that's the kind of tree. Not only is it aesthetically pleasing to look at, it also makes these fruits out of which fake chocolate's made out of. And as a kid, I was forced to eat this instead of the real good milky chocolate. That's why it turns so weird. Now guys, manicured, lush, mature gardens. Big fan of it, right in the second landing of your garden with the two statues facing the front. Obviously, because it's the most beautiful part, right here. Like we are somewhere in Toscana. Wouldn't you say? That's amazing. Stunning. Unfortunately, Love. it's very rare to see these lush gardens because there's so much being built around here. They don't give real time to properties. I, I think it's like a good wine. It needs time to, to develop that to sort mature, of- To mature, to age. Yeah. Like this house, Let's not call instance. it aging. Maturing sounds better. I'm very sure to get a mature garden as such, you would need at least 30 to 40 years of letting it grow. Or freely. a lot of money. Yeah. It's nowadays, you can import anything. It's very true. Everything. Very true. Now this is the last landing, ladies and gentlemen, where the pool finds its position. It and now, is pool time. It's pool time. And let's look at the pool because the pool, not only is it Dominic, heated. My next question, where are the chicas? To such a pool? Unfortunately, as Does they- you feel like a pool party right now? As they heard that you're coming, they're mm. all canceled. <laughs> 
The pool is heated. No, no, they found out that Dolph Rundgren is not coming. They're like, eh, just the Mario Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> eh. Fame like this. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, from where you're standing, you have the pergola, very visible, with a barbecue installed, a nice little seating niche as well. That door leads to a swimming pool. I'm kidding. Leads to a toilet and a sauna. So all in all, you have quite a lot of leisure entertainment that you can undergo here. And, and a from huge there, swimming pool. Just picture Poof. this. Isn't it stunning? For me, this is one of the most beautiful properties we have seen because of all its character and charisma. And it's so different to the rest that's currently on the market. And we are in a 24 hour secured private urbanization, a footstep away from the actual Golden Mile, which is the beachside, five minutes to Puerto Banus. When it comes to location, this is fantastic. So if you guys are looking for a home and you are interested in this one, let the lister who's details are below no yo <laughs> so guys it's been another Mario Brothers production I'm gonna take my hat off I do wish you guys a wonderful day and if you enjoyed today's tour do give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel we'll be doing so many more awesome property tours me and of course the big guy here the behind, behind the, camera. the camera my brother my partner who's so annoying at times but I love him <laughs> Oh, do you want some karate kicks? Wow! <laughs> Ciao, guys. Do you want to see a karate kick? <laughs> <laughs>